Hey, welcome back to the fourth video of my Rogue Tech series. Uh, right now we're on Blent Left. We just uh, moved from New St. Andrews last episode to here. Um, we had some repairs and upgrades to do, so we did that. Uh, once again, we are in the periphery here in the middle of nowhere. We sort of got a massive map here if you've never played Rogue Tech before. Um, this is just an incredibly huge sandbox to play in. But uh, we're going to quickly go back, and where we left off, we were looking at the contracts here um, for a possible uh, good mission to pull off. We want to find some more gear, hopefully get some good mech parts. Um, and I think if we're looking through these, um, this is a Highland kind of world, so yeah. Um, so it's going to be heat neutral pretty much, so I think got a couple of options here. I'm going to stay away from the half skull missions uh, only because we want to keep our funds up and hopefully find better mechs. So we've got a couple of choices. We've got he does his own stunts which is a good possibility um, or forward observers which is a nice battle. But th I think actually what I'll do is I'll do he does its own stunts. Um, chances are this will be one medium mech and then a lance of lights but we'll has, let's have a look at this anyway so commander sir Kinnis federation has arranged for a hollow vid uh, celebrity to visit durstadats or blantleff which is where we are blantleff in the hopes of rallying the morale of the local citizens this is an opportunity for local government to so local government psyops to instead make make them understand how dangerous the region really is. Well, the region everywhere is dangerous. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Deploy your lands, find the target, eliminate them. Destroy his bodyguards if you feel so inclined, which we will. We were clean up the mess on the battlefield. So let's just negotiate here. And I think we're going to go 74,000. We're going to go all out, 4 of 18. Let's just do it. We're going to accept this. And we're going to take our typical lance again with our two overheater mechs and trebuchet and uh, panther. The um, panther, we picked up a uh, um, ERPPC, uh, clan ERPPC, which we were able to uh, lighten the load on this guy. And a uh, plus three energy attack um, targeting system. And the fire starter's also got a plus two energy targeting system and an extra flamer, plus more heat sinks. So we'll be a little bit more heat efficient here. So let's just deploy and see how we do. All right, so here we are on the ground again. Uh, it looks like a typical map we played on before. And it looks like uh, Brock Armstrong, who the guy we're going after is up here. It looks like he's in a Katyushka probably or a trebuchet, most likely a Katyushka, but we'll find out when we get up there, or when he gets down here, one or the other, and we'll take him out. All right, so let's have a quick look here. So we've got a group of guys here, and I usually look for reinforcements. It doesn't look like they've got any, so this is just going to be a straight-up smash through these guys and get into the main guy and kill him really fast. Uh, if we can do this quick today, maybe we'll pull off a second mission, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. All right, so we're going to do our typical tactic where we reserve right down to turn one. Hopefully we can get a free move in before our enemies do. And once again, Vane Skater can pull up here on a little bit of a scout. I probably won't see anything. Oh, one target. <coughs> Let's see if they start moving here. Oh, doesn't look like it. All right, Flatliner. Let's get him in close. Um, let's put him down here because I'm going to move him first next turn. So it does look like we got a free move here. So let's get uh, our Panther up here. Roger, full speed. So our Panther's got our ERPPC and um, what are your orders, height and our trebuchet. We got a pair of. Um oh, sorry. No, I'm I'm backwards here. It's height that's in the flamer. The uh okay. Sorry, the reason why. <laughs> The reason why I'm backwards is I've got an actual second campaign that I play on the side where uh, Flatliner is actually in the uh, in a normal uh, fire starter mech. It's not the advanced one, and um, Height is actually in a Hunchback, so it's just reverse. So I have to remember that. All right. So now that we're in close, we're going to reserve. Oh, we got a target coming up on the side here. Most likely there's another one back here, but we're going to reserve our action here. 
So it looks like three lights and one medium? Is that the case? Looks like it. And I bet you they're all vehicles. It sure looks that way. Well, at least these three are. So we're going to reserve again. Let that medium guy go. And there he is there. There's a vehicle. Okay, so we're going to want to target him first. So let's get Flatliner in. Uh, sorry, height. And let's get him down here. Just so we can see what we're up against. Also, I want to try out his flamers. I want to see how well he does with his heat here. So we got our Myrmidon. PPC and our SRM. So with the PPC, it's a more of a prime tar target. And an Ignis. Not that worried about the double vehicle flamer. So let's go right against this guy first. Fun time. So it's not too bad with the heat. I mean, it is bad if we shoot all five of our flamers. But if we shoot four, we should be fine, I think. All right. So, next person, let's go with ground zero, and we're going to just move into the woods here, and we're going to fire on the Myrmidon. Yeah, man, that heavy PPC is awesome. Okay, Flatliner with the trebuchet. And we solved our missile uh, ammunition problem last time, so we're going to just fire everything on the Ignis. That's all we can see right now. Alright, and then we'll get Vanskater in here. And I think we'll probably just be able to shoot with the tag and that'll be it, most likely. Nope, we can fire with everything. We're going to do that, we're going to fire everything on them. couple of missiles I think that was it so all right so it's another vehicle over there three damage so that's probably an LRM carrier I'm thinking all right so we're not going to reserve this turn we're going to move over here slightly and we're going to shoot at this guy See if we can get him. 92% chance to hit again. Nope. I think I got his uh, left side there, or on the right, from where we're, from our perspective. Scimitar. What's this guy got? Auto cannon and SRM2s. Probably an AC2. Let's have a look here. AC5 and a pair of SRM2s. So. Not too bad, not really worried about him. Um, let's see where we hit this guy here. We did, we hit him on that one side. All we have to do is hit him with one flamer now. That'll be it for him. So let's move, like, uh, we don't want to put our back to the other guy. So let's move over here, like this. So let's see what our heat's like with just, uh, let's turn off one of our flamers here. So it is still, a large increase. Yeah. So we're gonna have to figure out something with this guy. Heat exchangers. I think if we can get some heat exchangers, like a tier three heat exchanger would be perfect for this guy. But uh, Watch my heat. I'm watching your heat. Don't worry. Receiving you. Let's get you sprinted. like this and we'll leave our side no turned to that guy over there and we're going to shoot this guy and hopefully we hit his side with a few missiles finish him off but unlikely nope did we get a knock on him though that's what I want to know oh. good indirect fire all you want well wow, that's a lot of hits well, I've only got one Chevron of evasion though, so that's probably why. Oh, we did hit this guy a few times there on the side. So I'm here. we don't have split fire. So I don't think I want to. I'm not going to waste my uh, LRMs. All of them on that one guy for one hit. We're going to shoot on this guy down here. So you can see we pulled out one of our medium lasers last time. Confirm. 
just to increase our LRM ammo. Since we're doing a lot of long range fighting, there was no reason to have the three uh, medium lasers. Oh, stop, you're just embarrassing yourself. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay, let's get hide up here. Maybe we can knock out this vehicle real right, fast here. And we'll put two flamers. Maybe the arm flamers. Well, hopefully we get lucky. We did. Okay, perfect. Nice. Now we can use the heavy PPC on the scimitar. Depending on where he goes. So what we'll do is actually we'll use a dagger first. See if we can get a tag on him and everything. So we all go before they do now. So let's sprint um, right up behind this guy. Give us a little bit better chance to hit. And we'll just fire everything. Oh, tag missed. I don't know if we hit him with the uh, narc beacon though, did we? What's this? Uh, yep, that's the narc. Okay. So, I'm not going to even move here. I'm just going to fire straight on this guy. Both weapons. That should be it. Yep. Nice. So that's Brock moving in. So, I don't know if that is a Katyushka. I mean, I thought he would have fired missiles by now if it was, but... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, he's moving in. Taking a little bit of damage. Damages light. Waiting for order. All right, so let's see if we can get some tags and stuff on this guy. So that once again, this is like I mean, a one skull mission. Pretty simple for us to go through and do this. Roger. But I think if you're playing Rogue Tech and you've never really played Rogue Tech before, my biggest suggestion is to play a lot of low-level missions and hopefully you get, you know, enough gear. Like, you know, getting the heavy PPC off the, off the top was a really great start and made things pretty simple for me. I'm just going to move him back like this and we're going to just fortify here and... Uh, get some um, heat dissipation. Yeah, it is a Katyushka. I don't know who he's shooting on. Okay. But, you know, if you play a lot of low-level missions at the start, get your things like Endo Steel or whatever else you can get um, right off the top. Let's just unload everything on this guy. Um, before you start to move up, um, it's really helpful. Plus, you also begin to learn what gear is usually better at low level. Like, for instance, with Ground Zero, he's got the arm, uh, if we look at it here, I don't think it's on this side, I think. Yeah, so the arm weapon, triple plus, right? So it gives him a plus three uh, chance to hit against any, um, um, with any weapon that's used in that arm, right? So that's with a plus three accuracy, that's huge getting your targeting systems up and running if you can if you can get them. Um, anything that's going to give you any kind of bonus to hit at a low level because with high evasion uh, it's really tough to hit a lot of opponents. So let's get him into position because we're going to barbecue this Katyushka. And we're going to move in with these guys because I want to use direct fire with my missiles. And we also need direct fire with the PPCs so we'll sprint close. But yeah, my you know, like I said, my suggestion is just to play a lot of simple missions and slowly work your way up. If you if you try and just get, you know, a ton of stuff uh, right off the bat, it's just reserve here. Um, I find too by if you try and just like get bigger and bigger mechs, you can run into problems where you know you don't quite have the gear to be able to um, outfit them properly so that when you do end up facing like 
you know, another heavy lance or something like that. Um, or if you end up in a mission where there's like two guys against you, like two lances of heavies against one lance of your heavies, you just don't have the gear to be able to um, fend them off, right? Alright, barbecue catch Yushka. What's up, boss? Also, too, with, I mean, even this setup, we have to worry about um, moving forward because at some point the dagger is going to be useless um, and my, um, the almost overheated, my fire starter is going to be useless because, it, you know, it'll get to a point where we'll be fighting mechs with, like, PPCs and, like, um, Goss rifles, AC twenties, and it'll just kill my my like lighter max, right? So, okay, we're gonna load everything on this guy. Good to go. And we're gonna sprint up. I'm just gonna just. I don't want to really finish this guy off, but I want to panic him. So, how much armor does he have? He's pretty good. I think if I hit him with a PPC hit, we're okay here. So let's just do that. He's got a, well, he's only got two LRM 20s, so we're gonna try and get close to him. Our Oof. target is bugging out. Stop it before. Yeah, target's not going anywhere. All right. So once again, we're gonna do our uh, flame dance around this guy, and he's gonna remain overheated for the rest of this battle. So he's not gonna be able to do anything. Um, so like at lower levels, flamers are great. Like you know. Um, Especially if you've got a very small number of enemies. Whoops. That hit something good. I'm hoping this guy bails out. <laughs> okay, one pilot injury. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's sprint up here and see if you can shoot him in the head. Roger. Please don't kill him. I think we're going to kill this guy. I wasn't really paying attention. Critical. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do Commander. is sprint forward to a place that I can see him. Nope. Where can I see him? Right here. Aye, aye. And if I can shoot him with a small laser, I will. Aim for his head. Stressed. And then I'm going to move the uh, power up detected. trebuchet here. Offensive push. We're going to take a shot at this guy. We're going to just shoot for his head. We might get lucky. Well, he's panicked. Skipper. Okay, all right, let's get on this side. Roger that, Commander. Um, three was a bit much last time, so let's just go with two. Okay, and we'll get Van Skater on this side. And we're going to do an offensive push again. Shoot for his head. Come on, bail out. You know you want to bail out, buddy. You know you do. Waiting for orders. All right, we're going to move forward once again. Looking for that called shot against his head. Um, the small laser. Ah, stop hitting that torso. Ready for order. We're going to rotate around a little bit here. Indirect fire. Hopefully we hit his head. Ah, nice. I'm a leaf in the wind. Mission. And that's done. So that one was pretty simple. But I think if you you know spend time and you play a few missions, you know which missions are good to uh take the lower levels. Like those missions where you're trying to headhunt one guy, generally pretty good, especially if you're looking at, you know, trying to get some half decent parts. So we got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. Um once again we need eight to make one Mac, but you know, th that for me, that's going to populate my uh, table there pretty huge. Now, vehicle flamers, that's a possibility for dealing with the uh, output of Flatliner. 
or height I mean that that um, the output on the uh, fire starter Mac fusion core what else do we have down here endo steel so he lost all his vital stuff although this LRM ammo is nice I'm gonna take that we're not gonna use it right away but you know we'll be using it later so let's take that let's take the fusion core uh, only because um, we're gonna need some cash probably so we'll probably end up selling it and then let's take a couple of vehicle flamers I want to try a build where we use some of those on that uh, although this light pharaoh is kinda nice for what's left here um, yeah I think we'll just take what we got here confirm this two cat Yushka parts not bad the AC5 which we can sell another vehicle flamer two LRM20s PPC yeah, a bunch of junk so we didn't make out too bad on that one I think we might have time just to do another one so I might just you know rest up my guys real quick and we'll pull off another uh, mission real quick today the one thing I will recommend though if you're starting off it's I mean if you don't have any flamer max um, there's a couple of ways you can go you can have you know just stay try to stay with as many long range weapons as possible and just stay away from your enemies but at low level that's hard to do because all the mechs are so darn fast right in the morning briefing, Darius has a request to pass along. Payroll and Blank Spare want to get some training outside of outside of getting shot at by Laser's planet side. Dr. Murad observes, we do have those training modules. They'd be ideal, especially for less experienced mech warriors, but I'm sorry to say that they're not on up and running yet. Well, we can suggest they enjoy their downtime or organize pencil and paper exercises. Well, honestly, I'm going to suggest that they enjoy their downtime because at some point it's going to get really hairy for them, so they both gain high spirits. Nice. You shake your head at Darius. Make sure the pilots understand that relaxation is, is an important part of combat readiness. Yang agrees. Yeah, I don't understand why they're so anxious to get shot at. If they want to make themselves useful, I can use them. Uh, I can have them reload auto cannon shell bins. <laughs> I don't think that would help, Chief, Darius says. I'll make sure they don't burn themselves out. Next time we send them out on a contract, they'll be ready. I'm not sure what contract they're out on, but maybe go on planet side to uh, source out uh, better equipment. Okay, one day left till financial report, and I think we can probably pull off one more mission here. As long as we don't take take one on the chin this time, I think we're probably pretty good. So let's find another quick one here we can do. Staying in two skulls. So we can take the bait, which is going after a like we they attract a heavy mech so we can go and take the bait and see what that is. It's not gonna be a heavy mech, but Yeah, let's do that. That's probably gonna be pretty quick. So we'll take the bait. Commander, Circanus Federation is tracking an extremely heavy mech with local government heraldry. The provocation is almost certainly bait for a trap. We'd like you to spring this trap, engage the heavy mech, intercept the forces the planetary government sends to defend it, and destroy all of them. Well, destruction is our middle name, so let's go. We're going to negotiate. Um, we're doing okay for cash, and this is this mission is usually a crapshoot. Sometimes you get half decent p things, and sometimes you don't. So, well, you know, we got that engine, that fusion engine, the last time. So I think that'll be enough to cover costs here. Thirty-six thousand should cover our drop, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Forty-four. Hmm. And what are we paying out at the end of the month? 263? I think we'll probably be fine if we go for the whole route. Let's do this. Let's deploy these decoy boys and get it done. Alright. Here we are on the ground. Push in and see what we got. Alright, let's have a look at the map here real quick. So, zooming out, there's someone over here. It's a pretty small darn map. So, looks like we're probably facing, well, if that's, I kind of know this map, so if that's their, our target, chances are we got guys coming in from this side. So rather than reserving on turn one, we are gonna take the initiative and we're gonna move in here. So let's start off with tight, get him in close. 
We do have an unknown on sensors. Now, hopefully, hopefully it's not a vehicle. How's it going? I've had a few of these missions where you kind of go down and try and find out what the mech is, and it's a vehicle or something. I'm not sur sure why they'd say they'd be tracking a heavy mech if it's a vehicle. But it's a medium. You. So I don't know if it's a mech or a ve or it could be a vehicle. On it. <coughs> Let's wait and see here. Now, yeah, there's the, rein there's the reinforcements right there. So we got two choices. We can continue on and go after that one guy, or we, we can just hit these reinforcements hard and take them off the battlefield. I think what I'll do is do a little bit of both. So let's move. Yeah, it looks muddy there, but I think he's going to be stable. So we're going to move down. We're going to spot what that guy is. And up armored salad, and so it's a good thing that we did that. So we're gonna unload everything on this guy. We don't want that AC-20 shooting at all. Goodbye. Nice. That vehicle is trashed. It is trashed. Cool. Yeah, it's a vehicle. Darn. Shouldn't have gone for full salvage. Unless there's more mechs up there, it was gonna be kind of a waste of money. So let's reserve here. Ah, well. You win some, you lose some. Maybe we'll get lucky and some of these vehicles will have something interesting in them. There's another vehicle. Eh. Alright. Um, what are your orders, Skipper? I want you to find out what this guy is. That's what I want. Alright, some good evasion. What do we got here? Light Thunderbolt Carrier. Oh boy, how much armor does he have? A little bit. We're not going to go all out. We'll leave one flamer turned off. I got you. Those flamers do 26 damage against vehicles. Wow. So Thunderbolt 5s do... Uh, 20 damage. We're in the woods there, so that's why it's 15, but they do 20 damage each, so not really that worried about it. We're going to reserve here. See what these vehicles do. Let's reserve again. Yeah, they're not doing much. Okay. Let's move... Hmm. Can't even see them. Let's just move up here. Finish up there. guys behind the rocks and flatliner let's just move him into the woods over here Onward. and we're going to target that guy with uh, indirect fire and we'll see if we hit him yeah not bad no, not bad at all didn't think we were going to hit him with very many missiles with that low percent chance to hit but not bad all right, so let's get height since he's so far away from everybody else. Let's get him in here once again to shoot at this guy. The guy's got almost no evasion here, so let's just burn him up. Well, this looks bad for you. That's it for him. We want Thunderbolt fives. We're gonna have a whole bunch of them. Not that I'm really using them in any way, but okay. Let's see if we can get Vane Skater in close enough to see what these guys are. Nope. Well, we'll get into here anyway. Let's move. <coughs> uh, looks like they've got someone stuck off the map here. So that'll be fun to get up there and kill him. All right, Galleon, eh? Yes, On the move. Well, let's give him the good news. Well, good for us, not for him. And now Flatliner can come around, target that guy. This was fast. King Scorpion, 
Let's hopefully we hit him with a lot. Ultra 5. Well, we can, I mean, that's kind of good. We can use that. We'll fire with everything. We're standing in the water. Hopefully we get enough on the front and kill him. Yep. Now all we have to do is deal with that guy off the map. Which is kind of annoying. Let's just sprint right over there. Now that guy being off the map there doesn't always happen on this map. But I find probably about one out of every three times I'm fighting on this map, there's someone stuck off the map board. I don't know why that is. Alright. See if we can get Flatliner in to see him. We can. Let's try and finish him off as fast as possible. Panther 9L. Since he's not moving, he's going to take a lot of damage. Alright. Yeah, he's pretty much done now. Oh, it's unfortunate. It would have been nice to have him come out and fight, but... Kill is a kill is a kill, I guess. Fire everything. All right, let's see if I can get into position to shoot him. I can. Nice. Let's get a heavy PPC on this guy, see what he says. He says, ouch. And height can't do really anything against this guy. Flatliner, we'll move him in again. And we'll unload everything. This might finish him up. There we go. There we go. Two quick missions. Two up, two down. That's a kill. Fortunately, we're not going to make our money back on this one. So we lost 12,000 on the drop. Oh, only 7,000 on the drop. And no visible damage at all. So let's take... Once again, we can't take mech parts, so we're going to take the AC-5 Ultra. Um, maybe the medium pulse, I don't know. Thunderbolt 5s, we're not going to use... Oh, indirect. Targeting system, we'll take that. We'll probably use it later, but not right now. Well, we might. And then the medium pulse, I think, we'll take... Confirm that. So we got most of the stuff. We got the Panther part, which is good. AC-20. So we have some stuff to sell. You know, it says 3 million here, but it ends up being about 360,000, 300 and... Sorry, 400... Sorry, 450,000, somewhere around there, if we sell everything. Not like we are, but that's what it would end up being. So our financial report came up right away as well. So let's have a look at everything here. St. Ives, Compact, Capellan, Free Worlds. We're looking to see if the Circinus Federation... Cir I can't even pronounce a damn thing. Circinus <laughs> Federation is actually at war with anybody. Because um, we might be able to f help them flip some planets here. It doesn't look like it. Marian Hegemony, Lothian League, Magister of Canopus, Free Worlds League, Outworlds Alliance, Draconis Crownvine. Looks like it's pretty much nothing. So it cost us 630. So we, we lost about 8,000 on that. I've got the financial report. In C bills, but then we, we, we made it back on stuff we can sell, so we're okay. 263,000 we got to pay out. So, yeah. So I think what we'll do really quick before we uh, call the episode today is we're going to uh, spend the six days to get these guys healed up, and then we'll go to the store. Actually, let's go to the store first sell some stuff off to get kind of in the uh, yellow again. So the AC-5 we're going to sell. AC-20 we're going to sell. Um, AC-5 Ultra. I oh, can't really use it right now, but we'll hold on to it, I think. We're going to sell both LRMs. Um, just so we have a bit of cast. So we're at 156. Heavy and light. Let's just sell both machine guns. The PPC can go. We're going to hold on to these. SRMs. We got four Thunderbolt 5s now. 
Um, these are how much do these things weigh? Three tons each for twenty damage, though. Five heat only. We don't really have anything that can use them. I mean, the dagger could, but do we really want to have a different kind of build on it? Probably not. SRM sticks sixes are still better. Hmm. Let's just hang on to them for now. We do have that fusion core. We can we can sell. Um, a couple of jump jets. AC5 ammo we don't need. Going to keep the LRM and SRM ammo for later. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep this fusion core for now. So it's not too bad. I mean, if we sell all Thunderbolts... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll leave it like this for now. And because I mean we're gonna have more contracts before the end of the month, and then we'll just quickly do this here. I wrapped up that job you asked for, we got nothing we can add to our max yet, so. And then next time when we come back, we'll pick up and uh, do another contract here. Try to find something a little tougher. Those two were really really easy. Um, maybe we could pull off a robbery here or something. It's an amp convoy ambush. Um, we don't really have the mechs for that. We need really, you know, I mean, you should generally at two skulls if you're lower than that. You need some pretty good firepower or some good speed, but with a flamer mech, well, you know, I don't know. We did pretty good against vehicles with the flamer mech, so. And then eviction, we can do this one too. But we'll see when we come back next time. So, you know, hopefully I'll see you then.